Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently at Visage, and it is finally time to go a little bit north up to the Isle of Cats and go deliver my prisoner as an offering and see what happens. So, let's go. I'm pretty much just assuming that Zera is going to give me about 50 supplies. I'm going to have to dump most of them into the sea. I'm pretty much just assuming that's going to be the case. gift for the pirate king. Your patron is overjoyed at your return. Eager to meet Leopold, are we? Courtesies due. Hand over your writhing, tear-stained cargo. Oh my god, I'm such a terrible person. Two attendants drag the prisoner off to the Rose Garden. You do your best to ignore the screaming. Your patron tells you, what, uh, tells you that it will take some time for your gift's memories to be harvested and the resulting honey collected. You should return later for your introduction to the Pirate King. Okay, fair enough. 200 Echo, that's pretty crappy, but it's something. Also, now I'm very afraid because it's kind of fucking terrifying. And that's about it. Okay. Wait, when I said it come back later, did it mean right now? I've, I guess it meant right now, and oh my god, those eyes, once again. Ugh. It's staring into my very soul. Well, here we go. A meeting with the Pirate King. What might one expect from Leopold, Pirate King of the Isle of Cats? A hulking, grizzled presence with a crimson cat tattooed across his back? An oil-bearded wretch with a brace of pistols strapped to each hip and eyes like wildfire? A gaunt-cheeked honey-seeker wasted from years of disillusion. He looks, as it turns out, more like a lawyer than a dissolute lord. Though he is at least wearing a robe of patterned silk over his dark suit. Behind him, you see a wall of what you think are wine racks. On closer inspection, the racks hold bottle upon carefully labeled bottle of red honey. Captain's compliments, my king. Isery enters with a wine glass of thick honey. Behind them, Zaira drags in a stumbling prisoner. It is the sailor you stole from the Cumian Canal. Only they do not seem to recognize you at all. Memories stewed in honey. Your patron offers the pirate king the wine glass. The king takes a sip, and the prisoner cries out as though his skin is being flayed from his bones. The spice sent to docks of Malacca. Leopold breathes, before he is plucked away by the honey. He returns hours later, skin skin flushed and eyes bright. I am very partial to memories of the Far East. Very thoughtful of you. He bestows a humming, honey-soaked kiss on Isri's lips, and then Zera's, before holding out the vial to you. Uh, do I want to take a sip? No thanks. I'm good. You just want your reward, and possibly to get away from the grim side of the prisoner rattling his shackles in the corner. Perhaps a mushroom wine instead. I sometimes wish I'd never drunk of the rose's honey. It is one thing to know that you are damned, and another to feel it, in the very marrow and blood. Leopold grimaces. For me it was not altogether a choice. He take... 
Wait, he take? I think it's supposed to say he takes? He takes the brooch of Amber Cat's eyes and replaces it with a little silver key strung on a chain. A key to the cage gardens. A sign of my trust. He then presses a gold statuette of a tiger into your hands. It has eyes of polished ruby. It makes you feel decidedly uneasy to look into them. Still, it'll fetch a good price. You are always welcome in Port Cavendish, my friend. We are a haven for all those who are free. He gave me the key to the... to the, uh... to the cage gardens, to the rose gardens. That is pretty much what I was looking for. I think that basically means that I'm... I, I think that just kind of means I can do trade here, basically, doesn't it? They are now open to me. And a captivating treasure. Why, thank you. That's worth a hell of a lot. Let's see. And ten casks of mushroom wine, of course. Thank God I actually had room in my hold. <laughs> Just barely. 38 out of 40. Is that what he meant when he said, perhaps you want some mushroom wine, and wine instead? Is 10 casks of mushroom wine? Because that's a lot. I was just thinking of, like, having a sip, but if you want to give me ten casks, then sure, thank you. Okay. So let's see what we can do with that key. Oh yeah, port report. Yeah, you can buy a shipment of red honey. Hoo hoo hoo. Hmm. And where can I sell it? I believe I can sell... Well, let's not think about that just yet. Hold on. So I can... It looks like both... Yeah, both of these require something ways you import. I can either take a walk or buy a shipment of red honey. How much is it? 600 echo. That's expensive. Hmm. Can even sell sunlight. Although very low chance of actually succeeding at that. And I don't even have a sunlight filled mirror catch box anyway. Okay, um... I don't know exactly what they give me. Like, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what form of red honey this would give it to me in, but I believe... Where is it? Mount... no. Gator's Morn. Isn't this... isn't it this place? A firkin of red honey. I'm guessing that's probably what you get. And this is probably the place you want to sell it, because Gator's Morn is kind of a place full of pirates. It's where black market goods are sold, and this is definitely a black market good. So, I'm assuming it would be a firkin of red honey. If it's not, then I can't sell it. And I believe that's the only place it actually has. That I, at least that I have on my list where I can actually sell red honey. Let's see. Yeah, that's the only place. It sells for 625 though, so how many would it give me? Because it costs 600 So, I'm hoping a shipment would be more than one firkin... Because if it's not, then my profit margin there is 25, which is shit. This is not even worth the fuel to go over there. Let alone the danger of having such an illegal thing in my hold. Hmm. Well, either way, I can't do any of these until I have something waits me in port. So... Let's bide our time. Whoop. Bide our time, shall we? Spin around in a circle here for a minute. Don't worry about it. That actually took off a hit point, didn't it? I didn't think it'd be fast enough to do that. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, it took off two hit points. Fuck you. Any day now. Thank you. All right, now do I buy a shipping or take a walk in the rose garden? Eh, let's take a walk. The garden of roses and cages. 
Two mellifrous sisters unlock the gates. Your key is mostly ceremonial. Before you is a garden dipped in blood. A sea of petaled crimson. Winding paths lead to irregular rows of cages, each covered in tangles of thorn and vine. Some of the prisoners inside the cages call out to you. Others mutter to themselves or weep. I think I've been here. I remember reading this. A sip of red honey. So that's what I can do here, huh? I could bake a drop of red honey. Well, I didn't want to drink it back there when I was meeting with the... Pirate King? Or whatever his name was. So, I don't want to do it now. So let's not do that. Let's buy a shipment of red honey. I now have a firkin of red honey. Really? Just one? What the f... That gives me a profit margin of 25. That's terrible. Hmm. Unless I can sell it for more if I take it back to London. Hold on, let me check something in a minute. The Mellifera's sister seems reluctant to sell the honey to you until you show her your silver key to the cage gardens. You are an intimate of the Pirate King, she exclaims. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Yeah, so the firkin doesn't actually count as uh, an item in my hold. It's just a curiosity, which is nice. It means it doesn't take up any space. Yeah, it can't be sold in the London markets. That's what I thought. So unless there's like a special contact in London, you know, like some quest thing that pops up. Unless there is that, which I don't... Well, there might be. I don't want to say it's not there. I don't know. I've never tried it. But unless there's that, I'm supposed to take it to Gator's Morn, which is terrible. 25 Echo, that is a terrible profit margin. Now, of course, it doesn't take up any hold space, so I could just buy as many of these as possible, but do I really want to do that? Do I want to spend all my money just to increase my profit margin to, like, I don't know, a hundred? I could probably buy three more. Profit margin of 25 on each one, profit margin in total being a hundred. I mean, I could see how if you had a crap ton of money, you could make bank on that because you could just buy as many as you want and it would never fill up your hold. The only limit is money, not hold space. But money is a pretty damn big limit. I don't want to buy more. Even though I can and it would increase my profit margins, I, that makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm worried that I would lose the honey somehow or... I don't know, I'd go there and they'd be like, yeah, you know, we don't feel like selling, we don't feel like buying red honey anymore, so you're screwed, sorry. I don't want to put all my eggs in one red basket. So it's actually kind of disappointing. For me, that story basically went nowhere. I'm, I finally got into the red honey trade properly, and I don't even really want to deal in red honey. Unless there's another place that has better prices, I don't know. I'm tempted to take it back to London just to see if there's something special that pops up. But it is more dangerous there, obviously. Gitter's Morn has no real danger. Nobody's going to search your ship there. But back in London, they will. I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Just ignore my firkin of red honey. I do have crap loads of mushroom wine. I have ten casks. And five casks equal one, like, one sale at Godfall, so I should probably go straight there and dump those off, since they're taking up so much hold space. Can get a couple hundred echo for that. Um, that's going to put me next to Polythreem. I could take another shipment of Clay Men. That's nice. Could sell my Captivating Treasure Con Shadow. No reason to do that, though, because I can always sell it back at Fallen London for the same price, but I also get some favor with the Antiquarian, so I'm just going to save it for that. Um, let me think about what I want to do, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff I want to do around here. I want to dump off my casks of mushroom wine at Godfall. I want to go back to the Empire of Hands, the ape people. See what I can do there. Now that I've turned in my large port report back at London, I think I can go back there and maybe make some other stuff happen. 
Um, I also want an empty mirror catch box from... Well, I'll explain that along the way, so let's just go to Con Shadow first. So I want an empty mirror catch box, and the reason for that is because I can... Uh, I can use that along with the clay men to, once again, for the third time I believe, make a... Mirror catch box full of angry dream snakes, or whatever it's called. Which, from what people have been telling me, is used for the... Uh, think for the quest where I need the colored objects back at Venderbite. The curator's quest or whatever, this... This... these things. I think they said it was used for that, so I should probably get another one and take it back there. I don't know, I've completely ignored that quest. I'll get to it at some point. But uh, while I'm over here, I might as well acquire the objects needed to actually make it, which is the empty box from Gone Shadow, and the Clay Men from Polythreme. Yeah, so let's go there and go there and do that. Guess I'll take a stop at Wisdom and get a port report. Also gonna stock up on some supplies, maybe a little bit of fuel. Also want to turn in my hunting trophy at Godfall. Because there's some sort of a story event where you can turn one in and get something. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. But some sort of thing you can do with a hunting trophy at Godfall, and I never did it before because I was keep holding on to my one, my one hunting trophy for Port Cecil. But now that I got a bunch of hunting trophies, I might as well use them up. Port report. No, I don't want to steal the guy. No, I don't want to ransom him. He's kind of too expensive. No, I don't want any of that. None of that. Nope. Let's go. I wish there was a mini-map. Because I just feel like doing this every two seconds. Like, am I going the right way? <gasps> no, a little bit left. Am I going the right way? <gasps> a little bit left. I think I'm also going to sell some of my random... I don't want to call it garbage, but just random stuff. Like, I've got one strange catch and one candle. Well, I don't know. I might be... You know, I might need that stuff at uh, Empire of Hands. Perhaps. So, maybe not. Anyway, I'm definitely going to buy... Well, I can sell my Stygian Ivory, because I really don't think I have any need for that. Alright, so I'm definitely going to buy... Empty mirror catch box. What does this thing do again? Oh uh, yeah, fuel efficiency plus 10%, hearts minus 10. I don't think that's worth it. That's a big reduction to hearts. I don't know about you, but I want my 47 hearts, just in case one of them gets a heart disease or something. I want to have backups. Okay, um, do I want fuel or supplies? Definitely supplies, no doubt about that. Actually, it's kind of a question of how much space do I even have. Okay, that should be fine. Now, let's go to Godfall. Dump off my wine and hunting trophy. Oh no. Nope. Not gonna fight you. Well. There goes some more supplies. <laughs> yep, let's restock.
Seems like after a certain amount of days have passed, you just can't even sell them wine. Although the name for this is really weird. Another day, time the healer no more than 199. It's a really weird name. Another day, time the healer. But I'm guessing it just means the amount of days that have passed. Which is apparently 153? Or something. Anyway, take my wine. Thank you. Thank you. 300 echo. Not bad. Though mostly I'm just relieved to have my hold a little bit free. Let's get a port report. And let's offer them a hunting trophy. As a gift for their collection. Let's see, what do I get? Louder ever louder. The trophy inspires the monks to feasts of bragging. This one broke a giant albino moray's neck. That one wrestled a hepty cheer. A third punched his way out of a bound shark. A fourth, and so on. You are largely forgotten, but there are truths, truths of note in among all the tipsy boasting. Alright, so you trade one hunting trophy for a bunch of stories. And a little bit of fragments. That doesn't seem worth it. I don't feel like stories are that valuable. Nah, I'm not going to give them the other one. Or the other two, even. I definitely want to keep at least one on me. And I don't think it's valuable enough to even use up the other one, so... Nope. Let's go. Okay. Now where to? I kind of want to stop by Polythreme because it's right there to pick up the clay men, but they're going to fill up my hold. Eh, I should do it anyway. They're right there. To get it done. Yeah, let's go around the faces. Not in between. Around. Hmm? Oh, what's that? Unfinished men? Well, I'm gonna take some damage here. Oh, shit, there's a face right there, I just realized. Fuck, I don't want to be here. I, I'm not gonna get behind it. Yes, go into the face, please. Test it for me. Tell me, does it eat you? Alright, well, they're absolutely horrible, thankfully. Maybe I can get out of this without taking any damage. of human souls. Were they trying to finish themselves? Report, report. You know, I should get a watchful curio at some point. Do I have that anywhere on my list? Okay, well, that was disastrous. I all tabbed out looking for the watchful curio in my... my, uh, trade info spreadsheet, and I accidentally pressed the wrong button and kind of stopped the recording. Whoops. Let's try that again, shall we? Watchful curio... Click on the file before pressing any keybinds. Okay. Curio. Ah, yes. You can buy one for one secret at Aram. Anywhere else? Nope, that's it. Well, that is totally worth it. 
It's not too bad of a price to pay. Of course, uh, not super close to Aram. Not super far away, either. And come to think of it, I wouldn't mind getting some supplies at Aestaville. Hmm. Nah, let's save that for another day. Alright, deliver some clay men. Got the space. Jump aboard. In fact, I'm actually going to make a note for myself. Get watchful curio from Aram and take to polythreme. There we go. Oh yeah, and somebody told me that um, We Are Clay is a very, very nice auxiliary item. Engine power plus 250, iron plus 5. That is awfully nice. Especially the iron plus 5, but I don't like the quarters minus 3. That's a lot of room being taken up. I really don't want to get below half people. Like, below half the, uh, the maximum amount of crew aboard my ship. Because that is incredibly disastrous. That is what led to my downfall before. Yeah. I really don't like those quarters minus three. I'm not willing to actually put up with that. That makes me too uncomfortable. And I would have to take out the torpedo nets, too. I'd have to take their place. I don't actually know if the torpedo nets are really doing anything, to be honest. Apparently they just automatically work. And I guess in most combat situations, I don't even get shot at, because I stay behind them, so I guess I haven't really gotten a chance to see them work. But, yeah, I'm not going to go for the clay men. I don't like the minus quarters, and I don't like getting rid of my torpedo nets. Even though I doubt the torpedo nets are really that helpful. Still, I don't want to risk it. Okay, so we're good here. Now I want to go down to the Empire of Hands. Yeah, sounds good. Let's go east to the... What's this place called? Nativity. Just to kind of get a port report. Uh, spin them a story. Lost five terror. Nice. Actually, wait a minute. I can't get a port report unless I have wine. Which I don't, because I just sold it. So, yeah. Let's not go there, actually. Let's just go straight south. Or southeast, rather. I'm a little bit low on supplies, but there's got to be somewhere where I can buy supplies around here. So I'm not too worried about it. actually go straight south. Yeah, let's unravel this black area a little bit. See if there's anywhere new here. Yeah, that's somewhere new. What did that say? Melting Isle? I feel in the mood for some adventure. Yeah, Melting Isles. Anywhere to dock, or...? Oh, I see some buildings, I think so. Restless Night. Ignore it. Wait, the Mangrove College. Oh, I've gone through to the Mangrove College. Yeah, I was thinking, I've been here before, haven't I? Alright, well, let's get a port report real fast, I guess. Wait, pick up a passenger. Hmm, hold on. Whoa. Whoa, 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 there's a bunch of stuff here. I don't remember this stuff. Hold on, let's get a port report. Um, oh, I got supplies. Uh, what happened? 
The thinkers of the Mangrove College continue their untroubled and sedentary existence. New schools of philosophy are born and die like bubbles. Extraordinary poetry are written in water. The occasional retired pirate tries and fails to get invited to salons. Wait a minute, so why did I gain supplies? That did not explain that at all. I guess somebody just gave them to me. Um, thanks. Okay, there's a crap ton of stuff here, including one that involves supply, uh, candles. Hmm, I wish I knew about this before I sold all my candles. Because I had like, what, nine left over or something like that? The swamps around the village are full of mud, crocodiles, and vegetable treasures. Including the notorious parasite called Solace Fruit. Oh, the fogs and spreading branches occlude all light. Yeah, I'm guessing this is similar to the Godfall expedition thing. Where even though you only need one candle to go in, you probably are going to want a lot more than that. Because it does say take, take plenty of candles. Hmm. Can you convert seven memories of distant shores to a secret? No thanks. Seven Z stories. Hmm. Beachcombing. Alright, well this place is very intriguing. Very intriguing. And pick up a passenger. The Mangrove College is named for its scholars and philosophers. They have long abandoned civilized comforts for the life of the mind. Sometimes they want those civilized comforts back. Alright. I've now got another shady sort. Corsair's Forest, please. Gator's Morn. No, I'm not in a hurry, but I think I might have. I might stay below decks. I don't carry the fee on me. You'll have to trust me for it when we arrive. Thank you. A pleasure. Shady sort is shady. Gator's Morn. That's actually kind of perfect, because I need to go there anyway to sell my firkin of red honey. I'm going to write a note, just to make sure I don't forget. Unless, hold on, where do you show up? Oh, you take up hold space. Okay, I'm not going to forget you then. I don't forget anything or anybody who takes up my hold space. You waste of space. No, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I let you aboard. Okay, do I want to gather supplies, or... Go beachcombing. Beachcombing sounds fun. Although I do need supplies. Hmm. Then again, I don't know if I need supplies any more than I need fuel. But supplies are more expensive. Let's gather supplies. Whoa! Just five supplies? Just like that? Your crew strips a stretch of shoreline bare. It'll have uh, burgeoned again by next week, no doubt. That's it? Just five supplies? I didn't lose anybody? Nothing? Huh. I kind of want to just float out to sea for a minute and let this regen, and then do it again. I feel like there's got to be something to stop you from doing that, because it seems kind of exploitive, but I kind of want to do it. I'm going to do it. I mean, there's basically no harm. Except terror. I mean, it doesn't take up any fuel if you're not actually going anywhere. It's only using up hunger, so using up supplies, but I'm about to get supplies anyway, so who cares? Yeah, the only thing I'm really losing is just terror. Or rather, gaining terror. Depending on how you want to think about it. Should probably be far enough away that I'm not actually inside of the ring to dock. Don't know if it makes a difference, but we'll see. I almost hope you can't do what I'm trying to do here, because it does seem very exploitive, but I am curious. I am very curious.
wow, you really can. I mean, maybe there's random events where you meet like a, a puma or, or something in the forest. Or one of your crew members just like trips on a mushroom and dies or something. So maybe it's not all good. But that is really, really nice. Okay, I don't need to worry about supplies anymore. I kind of want to do this. Eh, let's go. I know I'm probably not going to be able to actually do this fully, but I just want to make sure this works the way I think it is. It's going to work like the Godfall thing. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it is. You can leave it any time. If you get in far enough, you'll generally find something interesting. Okay. So it is. Yep. Welp, I am going to leave right away. Well, just out of curiosity, I also want to go beachcombing. Now that I don't need to worry about supplies, I don't feel bad about just spinning in a circle for a minute. <laughs> don't worry, I don't plan to make a habit of this. So yeah, right after this is done, I'm just going to go straight east to the Empire of Hands. Looks like I'm going to be heading through a little bit of darkness, so I might see something new. Away, Z-Bat! Terror's not doing so good. Actually, wait a minute. I might not even get back my something and waste me in port by the time I get back to the Empire of Hands. Well, whatever. If that happens, I could just hang around there for a minute. Whoops. Beachcombing. Ships come and go to and from the Mangrove College, often in secret. What might they have flung overboard? Hmm. Once again, a choice. Ooh, the remnants of a shipwreck. That sounds cool. A lot cooler than a nasty glob of goo, or something glinting. Whoa! Oh. That scared me. Just supplies, okay. Murgatroyd's Fungal Crackers. An awful lot of them. One must hope that you enjoy fungal crackers. Or have an extremely hungry parrot. Five more supplies! Well... I'm just going to go plunk to one of these clay men. I don't think they'll have any problems going all the way down to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, let's dump one of the supplies. Supplies are worth more than fuel, but... I kind of need fuel more than I need supplies at the moment. Unless there's some way I can use this stuff up. Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Yeah, let's go a little bit into the darkness here. Hopefully uncover some new stuff. Nothing new? Nope. I think the port's on the other side.
Okay, so can I start sailing again? Hmm. Maybe. Hold on. Can have another audience with a civilized mayor. Don't think that does anything. Let's get a port report. Let's have an audience. Again, I don't think it does anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that face. Once again, I can sell my soul. Acquire fresh supplies. No, 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 no. I definitely do not want to give my people shore leave. Ask about the Zeppelin, turned away. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Um, oh shit, did I forget that back in London? Check your lodgings after submitting your port report. Did I totally forget to go to my lodgings? I must have. Oh damn. Well, that didn't work out. Alright, well I was feeling some adventure, but that's kind of harshed my mellow, dude. Well, fine. I'm gonna go south then. I hope the Chillinate sells fuel. really forget to go to my lodgings? I'm just thinking, because I must have gone back to my lodgings to spend some time with my kid. Maybe I did that before turning in the port report. I probably did. Yeah, I must have done that before turning in the port report. Alright, do you have... You don't have fuel. Okay, that's disturbing. Well, let's see what I can do here. Obtain a doomed monster hunter with my captivating treasure. Uh, port report first. Alright, what the hell does this do? The Chelinate is stiff with monster hunters, awash with the Pelagin juices that give them strength. A good number of them are doomed, too. But you'll need to provide for their families. I... Why would I want a monster hunter? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember hearing in a somewhat recent patch for this game that they added the ability to, like, summon monsters, basically. Because there's certain monsters that you need to kill to do certain story events, like Mount Nomad, for example. You need Nomad's heart to do something, I think. And I think one of the things they added is the ability to basically kind of, like, force a confrontation with the monster. Because otherwise, you don't really know exactly where it's going to be, so it can be very hard to track it down when there's only one Literally only one in the entire Z. So I think this might be that. This might be to force a confrontation with a monster. Which means I really don't want to do it because I don't plan on... Yeah, I don't feel equipped enough to kill any huge monster, nor do I even want to at the moment. So, no. Um... Damn it, you know what? God, I wish I wrote more stuff down. I remember there was a quest that involved getting lots of Stygian ivory. It was relatively cheap stuff. It was a bunch of Stygian ivory plus something else equal... You know, I think it was back at the Iron Republic. It was to continue one of my officer's quests, I think. Yeah, it was Stygian ivory plus something else. Thing is, I don't even have the whole space to hold it, even if I wanted to buy it. No, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so I could resupply on fuel at Adam's Way, if I have recent news, please tell me I do. That's an intriguing snippet. Do I not have recent news? Are you kidding me? 
feel like everything's gone wrong this episode. Things just aren't working my way, no. Recent news has an icon just like this. I think. Pretty sure. Well, shit. That means I can't resupply Adam's way, I think. Do I risk going south and hoping I can find somebody who sells fuel there? It's a bit of a risk. This blows. I can turn off my lights, but then my terror is going to go up like freaking crazy. Let me see if I can find a place really quick. Let's see if there's one just, like, really close. Because I know there's more stuff down here, and I really want to explore it. So many bones. Ooh. Sea of Statues. Hello. Freaked me out for a second. Thought that might be an enemy. see them under the water. Look at that. Is there somewhere to dock, or... Does no one live here? Whoa, look at this. Oh, I bet there is a dock in there, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is so cool. King Eater's Castle. I feel like I'm being judged just by coming in here. I'm at the center of this Colosseum. What is that up there? Looks like a creature with connections going to its head. Echoes stalk you through the colonnades. An old veracity lives here, in the far reaches of the Z. The priests are long gone, but sacrifices are still made. Perhaps you have come here to make a sacrifice. Perhaps the sacrifice is you. No, no, it's not. Expend your fuel and supplies to lower your terror. Only if your terror is over 50. Just one fuel and one supplies, huh? That's not bad. Depending on how much it actually reduces your terror. <laughs> Look at that, lose your mind. Offer your thoughts to the uh, at the altar. Do not do this. Why is that even an option? That is so weird. Eat your crew. No thanks. Don't do this. They will destroy all your crew and any human or near human officers. The struggle will wound or even kill you. Why in the fuck would you want to do this? And what in the hell is this? Construct the Fulgent Impeller. Under directions from the mechanic, your crew placed the slabs of black ivory together, as the ancients were said to assemble stone walls without mortar. Oh, you know, I'm going to stop reading this. This is the thing. Yeah, this is to continue the Tireless Mechanics quest. Um, I have the secret, but obviously I don't have the person. The unsettling sage that comes from wisdom. I um, also need a casket of sapphires, which I don't have, of course. 40 Stygian ivory. Okay, so I literally can't even make this unless I had a bigger boat to begin with. Yeah, that's not happening. Let's get a poor report. It's not really an appropriate title for a formal report, is it? Let's find something a little more clinical. Oh, the title is Everything is Horrible? Seems appropriate enough. Alright, this is a disturbing place and I don't want to be here any longer and I bet they don't have shops. They don't. Goodbye. Okay, well, I think that's the end of new places to dock at down here. 
I'm sure there's some stuff in the dark, but probably no places to dock at. Um, that actually might be all the places that there are to dock at. There might be something in here. In fact, there probably is a place or two in here. But other than that, I think that might be it. Yeah, this map is pretty well explored. Shall I go to Varchus? I don't even remember that place, to be honest. Oh, that's a place of light. Yeah. I don't know if they sell fuel there, but let's go check it out. It's been a while since I've been there. Running without my lights because I'm a little bit scared about my fuel. Also, there's something in the water. Oh, it's one of those shiny boats. Those have like a million health, and I'm pretty sure they can kill me in one hit, I'm assuming. That's probably not true, but I'm just going to assume it's true. Yeah. No. Okay, change of plans. We're not going to Varches. I could route around it, but that would take up too much fuel. I think I'm safe to turn my lights back on now that I'm heading back. Where should I go? Like, where am I actually heading back to? I guess back to Con Shadow? I mean... Yeah, let's go back to Con Shadow. Should have enough fuel to get there. Then after that, I can decide better where I want to go. Because I want to go to Gator's Morn to sell my firkin of red honey and also to drop off my shady sort. And I also want to do my dream box angry snake thing. But that's back at London, so can't really do anything about that. Yet, what the fuck is that? Okay, that thing is a Lorne Fluke. I don't, I've never seen it before. It's spiky. It has shit tons of health. I'm running. I'm leaving my lights off and... Okay, I think it lost me. It's got a question mark up there. Yeah, okay. 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 I think they sell fuel here. Even if they did, it probably wouldn't be at a reasonable price. Man, my terror is really high. Almost there. We're in safer waters now. I can't wait to get back to London and reduce my terror. Or we can reduce it right now. Hopefully get some fuel out of this too. Thank god, two fuel. More fuel. Alright, don't need to worry about leaving my lights on now.
Okay. Back to safety. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'm just thinking, what the hell am I going to do next? I don't know. This, this has been a weird episode. I tried to explore, but for the most part, it didn't really work out. I mean, I did find the King Eater's Castle, which is pretty cool. But, uh... My... The main thing I was going to explore was the Empire of Hands, which didn't work out because I didn't go to my lodgings after submitting my port report back at London. So, that didn't quite work. I mean, I feel like I didn't get much done, but the truth is, I think I did. I think I did get quite a bit done. I mean, I went to the Isle of Cats, I did all that stuff. Even though it didn't really seem to... It doesn't seem to have led to anything particularly interesting, really. Trading in red honey doesn't seem that interesting. Or that profitable, to be honest. But, that was kind of cool. Got a bunch of mushroom wine for it. I think I got the... That's where I got the captivating treasure, right? Got some people from Polythreme and a... Empty mirror catch box from Con Shadow, so now I can go complete the... Uh, or rather make a mirror catch box full of angry dream snakes back at Hunter's Keep. So I can go do that and then take it to Vendor Bite. So that's nice. Oh yeah, I guess the other major thing really is just discovering that Mangrove College has a lot of interesting things. Especially the swamps. So I really want to come back there to the swamps and get, bring a bunch of supplies and a bunch of candles. And, oh you know what, in fact I could even do that while I'm still here. Yeah, you know what, before I even go back to London, I'm going to go back to Mangrove College, because Mangrove College is right there, it's right nearby, and you can get cheap candles that are actually cheaper than they are back in London. Um, I don't think I can get it from here, right? No, I can't get them here, but I can get them in Khan's Heart, which I just unlocked. Yeah, it's 30 per candle. Okay. Alright, cool. So I am actually going to do that as soon as I come back. So that's my, that's going to be my immediate goal. Go to Khan's Heart, resupply, get a bunch of candles, bring it back to Mangrove College, and make stuff happen. Then after that, go back to London and regroup. Dump off all my clay men, do the box thing, actually get the person who is apparently in my lodgings. I guess the person has just been, like, hanging out and playing with my wife and kids the whole time. Maybe they're the new babysitter or something. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.